Hello investors, good early morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. This is the Morning Stir Market and Resource Rundown for Friday, November 16th, which also is this month's equity option expiration day to possibly even add more volatility. The e mini S&P posted new relative lows Thursday at 1345 before climbing back to nearly unchanged to close down two points at 1351. Last week's support lows at 1363 act as resistance above for any oversold recovery. The Dow Futures lost 27 points to close at 12,517 after a 170 point loss on Wednesday. The 12,670 Friday lows now act as resistance above with the lower weekly support to watch at the 12,500 level from the end of July. A 2% loss in tech bellwether, bellwether Apple dragged down the e-mini Nasdaq down another 6 points at 2523. The lows last week here, the other day at 2553 act as upside resistance. Crude oil gave back of most of Wednesday's gains yesterday down 80 cents to close just below $86 a barrel. Interday's high, interday highs at $87.25 mark the highest level in a week. Resistance above sits at $88 from the highs last Tuesday, November 6th, while the base support over the last three weeks has been $84. The euro currency built on its reversal bottom to add 30 points to $127.80 after a push to $128 during the session on Thursday. Both the dollar and bonds held recent gains, though unchanged, on the session. Gold was the big loser on Thursday, down $15 to $17.15. The weekly support from Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday at 1720 failed with the lows at 1705 Thursday. Silver lost 29 cents to 32.59 an ounce. With new new lower relative lows on Thursday, where did things stand this expiration Friday to start the trading day and end a tough tough week? The dollar sits at two month highs again with the euro down 35 ticks at 12740. This 127 euro support level is held on a weekly basis as the halfway mark of the 122 to 132 rally of the last few months. December bonds are at the 152 level with the yield on the 30 year steady around this 275 level, actually a little bit below it at 272, which has been here at this level for almost a week. Crude oil steady down a dime at 85.75. The range overnight from high to low is 60 cents with no reaction to the Middle East concerns. Gold's down another $5 at 1709, with 1700 the support pivot below that held solid last week, and 1740 the resistance highs above. Silver's down 41 cents at 32.26 an ounce, with the $32 pivot below. So as we get started on this Friday morning, the E-mini S&P is steady at 1350 down one. Dow futures are 13 lower right now with the Nasdaq futures unchanged with more than an hour to go before the stock market open. So to wrap up this current action on this Friday morning, the euro currency is down 30 and the dollar's at two month highs. Crude oil is steady at 85.75 with gold down $5 to 17.09. Stock futures have recovered from overnight losses with the E-mini steady down only one point at 13.50. The Dow futures here at the CME Group are just a few points lower right now, 25 points uh, lower and we're at the 12,520 level. Please visit our sponsors at MorningMarketStir.com for more information on commodities, futures and options. I'll see you early Monday morning for the Stir in the Markets to set up your trading day. From the CME Group trading floor, it all comes back to commodities.